as Lord Mayor of Birmingham, I am honored to open the city's virtual Holocaust Memorial Day event. Today we remember the millions of people murdered in the Holocaust, as well as all of those who lost their lives in subsequent genocides. Holocaust Memorial Day's theme for 2021 is Be the Light in the Darkness. My name is Mindu Hornick. I am a survivor of the ghetto, Auschwitz concentration camp and slave labor camp in Germany. To be the light in the darkness encourages everyone to reflect on the depths that humanity can sink to but also the ways that individuals and communities resisted the darkness. To be the light before, during, and after genocide. Divisions and misinformation in today's world means we must remain vigilant against hatred and identity-based hostility. We can all stand in solidarity. We can all choose to be the light in the darkness in a variety of ways and places, at home, in public, and online. Shining a light through my personal testimony is something which is, I feel, hugely important and something which I have done for over 20 years. I have visited schools, colleges, universities, and many various groups of organizations to educate and to inform of the tragic events that hatred and prejudice can result in, such as the Holocaust, which I am a survivor and a witness. For the international community, there is a responsibility to shine a light on the situation where people have been and still are persecuted and hold those responsible to account. We survivors will continue to do our best for as long as we can. Therefore, Holocaust Memorial Day enables us to remember for a purpose, to give us a responsibility to work for a better and safer future for everyone. We can now all step up and use our talents to tackle prejudice, discrimination and intolerance wherever we encounter them. We can be assured that the second generation is in place and will continue to light a candle long after us. The theme for the year's Holocaust Memorial Day 2021 is Be the Light in the Darkness. It encourages everyone to reflect on the depths humanity can sink to, but also the ways individuals and communities resisted that darkness to be the light before, during, and after genocide. The utterly unprecedented times in which we are living currently has shown the very best of humanity. However, we must remain vigilant. Genocide does not just take place on its own it is steadily process that can begin if discrimination, racism, and hatred are not recognized and prevented. We must all stand in solidarity. We can choose to be the light in the darkness in a variety of ways and places, including online through kindness and understanding. Today, as an act of remembrance, candles will be lit to focus our minds on this theme. If you are able, please join us in lighting a candle at home.
I light this candle in memory of the six million Jews, including over one million children, murdered just because they were Jewish. I hope that children and young people will react to the horrors of worldwide genocide with a passionate longing for peace in our world. I light this candle in remembrance of the tens of thousands of Roma and Sinti gypsies, at least 200,000 mentally or physically disabled people, and the many thousand of Jehovah's Witnesses, black people and homosexuals who were murdered in the Holocaust. We light this candle in remembrance of all the children and the families in the world who have, whose lives have been taken in war and genocide. And all the women and girls who have been injured or lost their lives with their belief in the right to be educated. I light this candle in memory of the politically opposed in Germany and other European countries vanquished by the Nazis the millions of Soviet prisoners of war and the tens of thousands of Polish intellectual and religious leaders, as well as all those who lost their lives in their efforts to defeat the Nazi war machines. We lie this scandal in remembrance of all victims of atrocities and genocides around the world and for those who are still being killed through war, conflict and crimes of hate. They say you need to know the darkness before you see the light. But sometimes it feels easier to give up than it is to fight. Sometimes we're just too scared to write the next page. When it's so dark that even our shadows just fade away. When all that is left is the fragile sound of pain and still we tell ourselves that it's okay, that this is okay, at least that's what we say, but really what we mean is we have to change. We have to change to stop the hate, not discriminate, because it's not too late. Maybe that's what makes the darkness so frighteningly beautiful. When days stretch on and on and on, but nothing happens. Still, we look for the lights. Our mind has been poisoned with lies and so we forgot to listen. Listen to the voices that whispered through broken shards of the truth, just whispering until they too disappeared. But that doesn't mean it's the end. What if really we can be the light? Let the flames of unspoken kindness ignite. There's still one candle that hasn't died. Embrace the fire that burns in our eyes because we know that one day it will be okay we can change we can hope and dream and wish for to live without hope is not to live but to only exist and when the future shapes who we are let us make that future full of hope and full of lights. I'm Rabbi Margaret Jacobi from Birmingham Progressive Synagogue. We remember six million Jews and six million other people who died when madness ruled and evil dwelt on earth. We remember those of whom we know and those whose very names are lost. We cherish the memory of those who died as martyrs, those who died resisting and those who died in terror. We mourn for all that died with them, their goodness and their wisdom, which could have done so much to ennoble and enrich humanity. 
we mourn for the genius and the wit that died, the learning and the laughter that were lost. We salute those who had the courage to stand outside the mob, to save us and to suffer with us. They too are God's witnesses and a source of hope when we are tempted to despair. In, e in our daily fight against cruelty and prejudice, tyranny and persecution, their memory gives us strength. <laughs> God, full of compassion, exalted God, grant perfect rest under the wings of your presence among the holy and pure who shine as the brightness of the firmament to the souls of the millions of our people who died for the sanctification of your name. Merciful God, shelter them forever under your wings and let their souls be bound up in the bond of eternal life. May they find their destiny in your nearness and may they rest in peace. Amen. We recognise that the Holocaust shook the foundations of modern civilization. Its unprecedented character and horror will always hold universal meaning. We believe the Holocaust must have a permanent place in our nations and communities' collective memory. We honour the survivors still with us and reaffirm our shared goals of mutual understanding and justice. We must make sure that future generations understand the causes of the Holocaust and reflect upon its consequences. We vow to remember the victims of Nazi persecution and of all genocides. We value the sacrifices of those who have risked their lives to protect or rescue victims as a touchstone of the human capacity for good in the face of evil. We recognize that humanity is still scarred by the belief that race, religion, disability, or sexuality make some people's lives worth less than others. Genocide, anti-Semitism, racism, xenophobia and discrimination still continue. We have a shared responsibility to fight these evils. We pledge to strengthen our efforts to promote education and research about the Holocaust and other genocides. We will do our utmost to make sure that the lessons of such events are fully learned. We will continue to encourage Holocaust remembrance by organising an activity to commemorate Holocaust Memorial Day. We condemn the evils of prejudice, discrimination and racism. We value a free, respectful and democratic society. The anniversary of the Holocaust Memorial Day during unprecedented circumstances in the pandemic. Let us all remember our sacrificed family. Let us also remember those around the world who have made the ultimate sacrifice in numerous atrocities so that we could be here today. As Vice Chair of the Birmingham Faith Leaders Group, on their behalf, we offer our heartfelt prayers and invite you all to remember all those fallen loved ones, some whose names we do not know, some who are strangers, but all who are part of the human family. Let us 
be the light in the darkness for them all. History cannot be forgotten. We must understand what it has taught us and move forward. We must learn from it and raise our voices wherever injustice raises its ugly head. History will judge us and we will have to account for our actions and our inactions. The misuse, the misquoting and the hijacking of faith is wrong. And we do a grave injustice to the majority of faith practitioners. It is important we stand by each other together in unity, peace, harmony, to secure a better future, to be the light in the darkness. Let us be united. Let us speak in harmony. Let our minds understand alike. Common be our prayer. Let us join to condemn evil wherever it may flourish, to reject all forms of oppression and suffering inflicted by one people upon another. Let us stand with those who suffer. Let us together build communities of mutual love, trust and understanding. Unified be our hearts, common be our intentions, perfect be our unity. Thank you for joining us today for this service of remembrance. I hope you found it to be interesting and thought provoking. The theme for 2021 is Be the Light in the Darkness. The theme asks us to consider different kinds of darkness, discrimination, hate and emotional darkness. For those affected, fear, hopelessness and dread all have a profound and a long-lasting impact. We need to hold those responsible to account. Denial is a common feature of every genocide. Prejudice and hostility against people based on their identity continues to hurt people. It continues in the United Kingdom and it continues abroad. The light is resistance. The extreme bravery shown by rescuers lighting the way with a kindness and a shining light. And lights are more powerful when we work together. It has been a very different memorial this year, but 76 years after the liberation of Auschwitz, people are still being killed through war, through conflict and hate crimes. And the theme is as relevant today as it was then. Living through a global pandemic has shown us how individuals and communities unite to be the light. And it's shown us the very best of humanity by standing up to racism, hatred, and all forms of discrimination. We all have a responsibility to work for a safer, better future for everyone and to be the light in the darkness. I look forward to seeing you all again in 2022.